If you're getting tired of high fuel prices and would like to commute to work without getting soaked with sweat, or if you would like to enjoy bicycling without climbing difficult hills, you might want to consider an electric bike. I looked around at several options and decided to build my own using a Golden Pie motor kit. I chose the Golden Pie 3. These are available at Golden Motors in Canada. I used a Mongoose Impasse mountain bike. It is aluminum except for the steel fork. I thought that would give it some strength and keep it lighter. The whole bike here weighs 78 pounds. It's heavier than a regular bike. The mountain bike also gives it a little suspension, which is nice when you're hitting bumps at 20 miles an hour. The Golden Pie motor is a brushless motor that is in the hub of the wheel. The kit includes the motor already built into the rim, as you see here. There is a controller in the motor that leads to your battery connection, your throttle, and your brakes. The cost of this kit is about four hundred dollars. If you have a bike with disc brakes you'll need to remove the disc from the old hub and attach it to the Pi motor. Notice that I had to add some washers to make it fit. You'll have to take off the old brakes and replace them with the brakes from the kit. These brakes cut the power to the motor. They're connected to the controller and they also allow the motor to regenerate the battery a little when you use them. To the right you can see the thumb throttle. The light indicators show the battery charge full, half, or empty. You can also get a twist grip throttle. You may also want to get a cycle analyst, which you see there to the left, which shows the voltage, watts, speed, and total miles. The battery is a 48 volt lithium ion battery they're a little pricey, also around $400, like the motor, but they will take a thousand charges, and after the initial break-in, you can charge them whenever you want without worrying about hurting the battery. The battery comes with a charger, as shown here. It takes about three hours, I think, or so to charge the battery. The battery will run for 25 miles, and it's quite precise. I keep track of my miles so that I can make sure I don't run out of a charge. You can pedal the bike without the motor. On level ground it's difficult but doable. Going uphill without power is very difficult. There are different ways to attach the battery. Some people just put them in a backpack. I chose to buy a battery rack. The battery slides onto the rack and locks. I had a little trouble with the locking mechanism at first because it didn't line up properly. You'll notice I also reinforced it with some steel supports. Golden Motors doesn't really supply much in the way of directions, but there are a few videos that can help. You might want to consider a cheaper steel frame bike. The steel would make it sturdy, a little heavier, but with the motor you won't really have to worry about that. You should be able to do that for about a thousand dollars. There are a few more things I want to add to this bike. A light and a horn. The kit provides uh, for both of those to connect to switches and, uh, and to the battery. A sturdy kickstand. And finally a better way to cover all the cables.